Hi, and welcome to another Book Talk with Tracy. Recently, I've been doing some interviews with other authors, and I thought I would share them on Book Talk. Uh, especially, uh, we've been talking about a new anthology that's coming out, and I had the opportunity and privilege to interview uh, several of the contributors to that anthology. And so I thought I would uh, share those interviews with you. I really hope that you enjoy them as much as I enjoyed uh, conducting those interviews. So without further ado, here's the next book talk. Okay, well, I'm super excited today to be talking to Whitney Braun, who is a contributor to a recent anthology published by uh, Inscribe Press. The name of the anthology is Creativity and Chaos, Artistic Endeavors for Trying Times. So nice to see you, Whitney. Hi. Yeah, so good to see you. So I was interested when I was looking at, um, you know, the table of contents. I have not read all the pieces in the anthology yet myself, but I see that you, yours is a poem. Yeah, um, I don't do a lot of poetry. Normally I'm a fictional writer, um, but from time to time I dabble. I find that usually I lean towards poetry when I have something I need to work out. Okay, yeah. So yeah, this is kind of where this one stemmed from. Um, is kind of how that started. So yeah, it's it's different for me to have something poetry published, but okay. yeah, well, because that's the thing. Like I know you as a novelist, and I have read. Uh, I've read well. The worth worth the chance, worth the risk, worth the wait. And I and I yeah. just saw. I I didn't realize this. There was another one worth it all. Which like what? There's another book. <laughs> yeah, it's a Christmas <laughs> novella. <laughs> Yeah. Plus, I see you've got some other um, new ones out too. So I need to reload my 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 to be read uh, list yes. or file in Kindle because I do love your novels. I just love them. Uh, oh, so that's how I, that's how I know who you are is through your your novels. But um, yeah. So when I saw that, and it's called Roots, is the name of the poem. So I'm I'm assuming there's something um, there about like where you're from, or I don't know. Do you want to just give us a little taste of what that poem's about yeah um okay so during the pandemic actually when we were all watching um church services online I actually started I would paint or draw or doodle kind of while I was listening to the service and I I made this this watercolor piece of um it's the anatomy of of lungs but it's actually um as tree roots and so anyway it was just kind of something I was doodling in and then I I kind of came back to it I've been going we've been going through a lot of big family changes um with my son and so anyway so we've been just kind of digging through all of this things for diagnoses and appointments and assessments and it just gets overwhelming and I came across this art piece and and I just kind of felt like okay I'm floundering and I just have no roots and and I'm an avid gardener so I relate a lot of things to how things start to grow and obviously you need roots before you're gonna see anything see any results mm -hmm. and so I just kind of started this poem I was super overwhelmed and it's just kind of about how we don't see anything at the start like we're we're going through all these trenches these hard times and but what we don't see is that's actually what's starting the growth and that's kind of what this poem is about is just like you're going through all this tough stuff and you're like what is the point of this you know and it's all this you know the the fear the anxiety and you're like good grief you know I just wish <laughs> I could see something come out of it mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden you kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel and and the growth starts and you're like oh this is why <laughs> So that's kind of what this poem is about. And we're kind of on the tail end now. So my son was actually just diagnosed with autism. Mm -hmm. um, he's six. And so it was, it was a late diagnosis accordingly. It's a whole big process. But anyway, so that was, we were in the trenches of all of this, navigating this this parenthood of like, not what you expect right. when you become a parent. Yeah. Um, and so that's kind of where this one kind of came from. Wow. That that's really actually deep. And I um it, it's so true that a lot of times in our walk with the Lord or in our Christian lives, 
trials seem to be the thing that really bring growth. You know? Yeah, fortunately. Totally. <laughs> and, and, you know, when you're going through a hard time, whatever it might be, or you're questioning, you know, all those things, it's like, ah, what's the point of this? But inevitably, when you look back, you can see, oh, wait, this is where this this pain out of the pain out of the ashes comes yeah. the out of the trials comes you know um something good so i i love that i mean and i think that so there's been a lot of pieces of just from the people i've already talked to that are along the same lines because you know 2020 and covid it was a big deal you know and i think we're still we're still living through some of those um after effects and and it's there are you know trying times around us worldwide and all those things so it's sort of at a macro level within your personal life but also on a bigger global scale mm -hmm. and yet god is so faithful because you know he's he's helping us all to grow <laughs> yeah well and that was another thing is like through the pandemic you know like he was two when it started and so we saw a lot of effects on him you know he couldn't be around his peers we couldn't register for him for swimming lessons or you know these trivial things you take for granted and then all of a sudden you can't do them yeah and so we thought you know there was some symptoms and and we're like oh you know it's probably just because of the pandemic and yeah and so and then you know school starts and all these big changes in his life happen and then of course it just kind of gets exaggerated and and it was just a lot for a for a long time and I had always told my husband before we had a family that my biggest fear was to be a special needs mom. Oh, <laughs> and I told him, I said, I, I'm terrified of this. Jesus was like, ha ha, you know, yeah. gotcha. <laughs> and it turns out it's the best thing ever. It's yeah. the hardest thing ever, but it is the best thing. Absolutely. Yeah absolutely yeah. and that's the thing right we sometimes we don't know what we really need or what we really what we really would appreciate in life until yeah. it gives it to us <laughs> totally uh, yeah and so another thing that jumped out at me as you were talking is the whole idea of creativity because I think that's also a theme that's running through this anthology is that um creativity yeah. is an outlet um for our own you know, growth or to help us navigate life, whatever. Um, and I, and I'm interested because I also did, didn't know that you dabbled in the arts, you know, so you do painting and, and stuff. Um, but that seems to be a, a truth that, that creativity of some kind or another helps us to sort of navigate life's challenges, if you will. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. For sure. I definitely leaned lots into the arts during the pandemic you know, being at home with a toddler and having nothing but time when you're, you know, sick of changing diapers and playing with toys and whatever. Yeah. And that was, yeah, the, during the pandemic, I leaned a lot into the arts. Um, and then I always find that poetry is something I always lean into when I have a lot of big stuff going on. I wrote, I write a, um, my husband's grandfather passed away and he was him and my husband were very, very close. And this was the year before my son was born. And I remember like there was months I just wrote poetry and I'm like, where is this even? Come? But then I figured out, Oh, it's usually when I have something big to deal yeah. with. Yeah. Yeah. But then what I find interesting about that is like often, you know, that's poetry or even journaling, like whatever, but a, cre a creative process is a way to, to deal with one's own, you know, feelings in that, but then often God also then turns around and uses that to speak to somebody else, you know, like, um, your, your poem, for instance, this one roots, I'm, I'm pretty sure is going to, you know, touch people's hearts because people will feel, oh yeah, that's how I feel too. Or I can relate to that mm -hmm. or whatever. So it's, you know, not only does the create creativity, um, help us, but it also, God uses it then to, you know, help other people. Yeah. You just have to have the, the courage to share it, which sometimes I don't. <laughs> yeah. Which surprises me because you are a prolific um, author, you know, you've got some wonderful like novels out there, like I said, and, and they're fantastic. So I don't know who's going to even be watching this, but read her novels. They're so <laughs> good. 
like they're really good. I love your work. Um, Thank you. And who knows, all these poems, maybe one day you'll gather some of them together and put out a poetry anthology. Maybe. <laughs> My son loves, uh, he loves rhymes. So this one doesn't rhyme, but anyway, so I make a lot of funny things up for kids and poems and things like that because he just likes the sound of the rhymes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That is so cool. <laughs> So any other, um, any other writing things that you've been doing recently that you can tell us about or? Uh, well, the, the next manuscript is slow going. It's going at a tortoise pace, but it's, it's on its way. Um, actually just because my son and I read so much together. Um, I've been kind of working on some Christian, uh, children's books um I published one about two years ago my first children's book it's called Sam and the Sunflower oh I um, saw that yes yeah I, dude, that's cool that's yeah and then actually I just um I'm working on some illustrate so I illustrated that one that was a whole new learning curve um but I I have another book ready to go like a Christian children's story um but I'm just working through the illustrations on that one now so yeah it's, a, it's an exciting one um my son is already sick of hearing it <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see he yeah. might not read it when it's all done but he's heard it a lot already oh wow that's so exciting that is awesome I love to hear that that you're combining your gifts you know in your artistic gifts along with your your writing and stuff like that and obviously you know children's books are important and you know with your son and and his particular needs that's obviously where yeah. inspiration came yes yeah. well yeah the, the one that I I wrote uh, the one I'm working on is all about um different bugs because we're going through a big bug phase in our house right now and the differences of all of them and it's this ladybug that gets quite insecure about he's not really able to do much and he's comparing himself to all his friends and and it's something we've been navigating through the first year of kindergarten. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's it's fun in that it's something he's interested in. It's got lots of rhymes. It's going to have some really colorful illustrations. So yeah, I'm excited about it. Oh, that's so neat. Well, I'm looking forward to, to that. And um, I have a lot of grandchildren, so I'm going to have to buy those <laughs> good perfect. Christmas gifts <laughs> exactly <laughs> perfect oh boy well this has been really lovely um you know is there is there a place online that people can um see all of your work or connect with you in any way um yeah all my books can be purchased on Amazon and then uh you can find me probably the most active on on my Instagram page okay and do you have do you can you share what what what's your handle oh sorry Yes, it's uh, Whitney Braun author. Cool. Just all together. All together. Well, that is fantastic. Really nice to see you, Whitney. I just really appreciate talking to you today and all the best in in your new endeavors and with your family and lovely to talk Thanks. to you. All right. Yes. Okay. Well, we'll hopefully talk again sometime. God bless. Yes. Okay. Thanks again for joining me on Book Talk with Tracy. As always, I invite you over to my website, which is tracykraus.com, no E in Tracy, two S's in Kraus, where you can find all of my books and plays, as well as other recommendations. Bye for now.